wanted to show you how to make a an extended body using tubing. Um, you'll find this pretty easy method once you get the hang of uh, melting the tubing. The tubing I'm using is just a small clear, small clear. You'll cut about oh two inches of it, and then place one end of it in a pair of hemostats, and hold the other end. And what I have here is uh, just a plain old alcohol burner because it burns clean. And what you can do is just wave that tubing through it. And then you'll feel it stretch. And see how it's starting to stretch? Yeah, so it's thinned out and it tapers it. So you get that extended body. It's got a nice taper to it. You trim it where it's melted now I like to take a P a uh, boar bristle actually get it off a shaving brush you can actually buy wild boar bristle from some of the suppliers and I'll trim it off and I'll insert it into that tapered end Make an adjustment. You may need to open up that piece, or even, and even cut down the length of the, the hair. The hair, the boar bristle gets thinner, as it moves towards the end. See, it trimmed it off. Now that's a thinner portion. And I'm inserting it into the tapered end. Now what I want to do is I bring that tapered in almost to where it, the hair splits. That's why I like using this boar bristle because it's naturally split and it curls. So I've taken it and I push it in far enough so that the uh, just barely starting to split the hair. Now what I do is I take a drop of um, super glue on my bodkin and I split the hairs. I split that split hair and I drop it right in there. And what it does is it keeps keeps the split from collapsing. What it'll actually do is some of the super glue will seep into or migrate into the tubing and keep those hair split. Now I'm going to trim off a bit of it. to about an inch or so, inch to three quarters. Now I'm going to take another pair of hemostats, and these still have the teeth on them, and I'm going to heat those up. And I'm going to pinch that tubing, and that will give me my segmentation. And these are hemostats you can find in any uh, sporting goods store. Nothing special. See, I've got them heated. It may take you a couple tries. The better not to overheat them to, to uh, better to, to go cooler than hotter because you really can burn this up pretty good. See how that segmentation? Pretty slick. Now I'm just about to, uh, you can see my, my tail, extended body. And I'm going to switch to um, my vice view and show you how to just uh, make one other adjustment to it. This is your 
This just happens to be um, TMC 212, size 17. Any clink hammer, any hook you want to use is fine or dry hook. I just like this hook. Now that's 17 knot white thread. See that table? It's flattened out just a bit, but not by much. Wrap it in, and I'll trim off the excess. And then bind the rest of that down. See, it gives you a good look what that body looks like and how long those tails are. Now, depending on who you are and what you like, for some people this is sufficient, but some of us like a little bit more uplifted abdomen. So what I'm going to do is take a pick, some UV resin, just normal UV resin, spread it along the top. It also enhances the uh, segmentation of the extended body. And then I'm going to bend it into the shape, a little bit more uplifted uh, abdomen. And yes, there is still air trapped inside that extended body, so it will help with flotation. I like this Loon UV resin because it, it self uh, evens out all by itself. So I'm going to hold that tail and then hit it with my light, my uh, UV curing light. and just give you a view of what that tail look, that extended body and tail looks like. And you can just tie on the rest of your fly. You might do a parachute, whatever you care to use.